how to deal with the dark Norwegian winters. Honestly. <laughs> it just feels like your brain is not really capable of creating joy anymore. <laughs> satellites a beautiful the beacons you send out to me the only way you know how ow, 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 ow. but I'm some other place now I am further than you would have thought And sometimes the night sky from up here blocks out my view oh, 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 oh. Covering my memories of you I long to hibernate And soon I will crawl into a torpid state Collecting the moments with me as I go Soon I will crawl into a top and stay Collecting the moments with me as I go Waiting for a time when darkness no longer falls oh, 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 Yes, this looks like a winter fairy tale But winter has many sides to it I won't go into depth about what I was feeling this day, but let's just say that the darkness of the winter and a lot of other things started getting to me. It's like a type of forgetting Until all of a sudden I remember again At the worst of times And slip back into familiar ill I long to hibernate And soon I will crawl into a top and stay Collecting the moments with me as I go I long to hibernate And soon I will crawl into a top and stay Collecting the moments with me as I go Waiting for a time when darkness no longer falls oh. Best way to deal with Nordic winters? Make a cake in the middle of the night. This video is already getting messy. I guess that's sort of how my life is too. Ah. So it's really messy and then there's also this beautiful scenery. It's messy and then there's this beautiful scenery. Very deep conversation. And by the way, if you are thinking this is like this one beautiful treat night of the month, then no. I made this cake three times already this month.
so I just finished my work for today. I had the something called the colloquia, which is like a seminar with some students at the literature in Bergen. I am on my way to the frozen waterfall that you might have seen in my previous video. Um, I'm not finished making that video yet. Okay, that's confusing. Um, so, when I post this video, the frozen waterfall video will be out. And now I'm going over there to film some more because yesterday when I tried to edit it, it was nice, but not like I... I was lacking a few things. Oh my gosh, this cam camera is really heavy. <laughs> my arm is struggling here. I need to put it on something, maybe, maybe just put it down somewhere here. Okay. So it's not been that easy to edit this video, to be honest, the frozen waterfall video. I mean, I love books and I love this book that I have been inspired by uh, to make that video. And it's not always so easy to combine literature with film because literature is a lot of words. When I make a video, I often try to write like a script beforehand. But then when I start editing the video, I always cut away almost half of that script and what I said because you realize that the clips actually speak for themselves and you don't really need to say that much. But then in this video, it's a bit hard because actually this book, I feel like I could maybe do it more justice if I was telling you a little bit more about it and stuff, but then then my voice and my uh, my script will kind of ruin the feeling of just being there by that waterfall and just taking in that experience. So, and then also I really wanted to feel like there is some kind of hope because I know a lot of people are really tired right now. This winter is really draining and February, at least in Norway, is super draining. Last week I had conversations with five of my friends on my phone and two of them were crying and uh, the other three were like kind of frustrated and ranting about something. And uh, yeah, I was too and yeah, we're all just really drained and uh, I mean, this is not even half as bad as how it is in many other places in the world, so... <sighs> okay, so just to get to the point... I really wanted this ICE video to give you a sense of hope that there will be another time. And that we are not in charge of everything. And I really wanted that message to get across, but... Yeah. I guess it's complicated and, and even now when I try to speak about it, it's so long and yeah, you get it. It's not that easy. Yeah. But anyways, I will take you along towards the waterfall where I'm going now. It's like a 15 minute walk, so yeah, I get, I have to get started. Everything in this area feels like it's an hour walk away or maybe half an hour when we go to the river. It's 40 minutes or 50 minutes. But we need a car eventually because <laughs> I want to get up. Those mountains everywhere and when you don't have a car it's hard to get up there. So we need a car eventually, but we don't have the money for it yet. Hopefully we will build up. But for now, we're using the cheapest transportation option, which is our feet.
One detail that didn't make it to the final cut of my ice video was that I was not actually alone in this place. Every evening when the sun went down I would be visited by this beautiful bird. We call it a fossekal in Norwegian and it's actually Norway's national bird. It lives by rivers and waterfalls and actually sometimes even builds its nest in the water spray. This bird fascinates me since it actually swims with its wings and not its feet. And it's so small, but still it seems to be withstanding those strong currents from the river. It gave me some inspiration. I thought, if this bird can take winter head on, then I can too. And that's also one of the reasons why I stayed so many evenings by this waterfall. It really made me feel way better to be outside more. Today is just not my day. I just flew my drone into the tree over here. You can see it blinking over there. Ugh, I have to get it down now. If I'm being completely honest. This was not the best filming day. <laughs> There's so much snow on the waterfall. <sighs> Crashed my drone. Pretty hungry. Yeah. And it's starting to get foggy too, so it's not... I mean, it's beautiful outside, but it's not the best, best weather. And uh, I have to keep checking my phone here. Um, because that's where I have my focus. Yeah, yeah, you'll notice that, yeah. But definitely um, one of the better days. <sighs> like, it's... Uh. So I stopped mid-sentence there because my camera was getting too heavy for me. Um, but I was actually trying to say that it was actually a beautiful day to just be outside, even if the filming wasn't going as smoothly as I'd hoped. I get so happy when I see so many of these. It's a remainder of a brine called Strutseving, and I think you call it fiddlehead. And it's a great vegetable in the spring. When I'm out walking in winter, I always look for things like this. The leaves of an oak tree. <sighs> then I know that here is a place where I can find oak nuts. Yeah, and actually one of the reasons why I'm talking about these trees and how to recognize them, you might think, what's the point? You can just look at the leaves when, it, uh, when the spring comes. But if you want to tap sap, from a tree, like birch or uh, maple, then you need to do it before the leaves uh, bloom out. So that's why I always look for these things before the spring comes. If you are interested in a video about how to recognize trees in winter, so that you can prepare for spring, then uh, let me know in the comments and I might work on that. This is definitely a Roman tree and you see it because there is one leaf left and if you have trained really well you might be able to see it on just the sprout, spruits, the shoots, the... Ah. Uh. When I go through challenging times, I try to be more outside. And that's also why right now I truly miss hunting for wild edibles. It always grounds me and keeps me calm. 
I think maybe it's some kind of primal instinct that is kicking in. The calmness of providing food for oneself and one's family. It's also a very concrete and uncomplicated task in the midst of a complicated life. And it helps me be aware of nature's changes. So now, even if snow is nice and all, I can't wait for it to melt. And actually, one of these days before I started editing this video, the temperature started rising and a thick fog started covering the landscape from morning to evening. It felt like something was transforming outside. And I was really happy about it. I hope that if you have been struggling with this winter and this situation, that at least this video will make you feel less alone with those feelings. These are rough times and we are all just trying to do our best. If you liked the video, then subscribe and give me a thumbs up or a comment. It helps me a lot to reach more people. And thank you so much for watching. I'm sure if there is like trolls and stuff outside, then this is when they come out. I'm just hoping that Maybe that means that now the spring is coming.